Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge 5.0. And today is day three. Today we're going to start our <clears throat> series on contacts. So for the next several days, we'll be going through uh, short videos on how to use the contacts applet. And so you can see here on the left hand side of your command screen when you first log in, <clears throat> excuse me, a series of applets that are included inside of command. And if I want to shrink that, I can always click on that red box so that I don't see the names. But I know that contacts is my first applet. So I'm going to go ahead and click on contacts. <clears throat> now we know in real estate that obviously contacts are our lifeline. It is certainly a um, contact sport, if you will. So today I'm going to show you how to manually add one contact into your database. Uh, this is a great use case if you just meet somebody uh, while you're out walking the dog or maybe somebody at an open house or a friend calls you and says, hey, you need to reach out to my friend. Uh, you know, just a one-time contact that you want to add into your database. So we're going to come up to the right-hand corner of your screen and click on the bluish green button here for add contact. And you'll see this is when we begin to be able to put in all of the information about this specific contact. So we're going to start off with full name. Let's just go ahead and put in my friend Testy Testerson. And old Testy's email is testy at testytesterson.com. We're going to put in a phone number. We're going to put in a lead source. So where did this person come from? Right? So you can go through here and see an entire series of lead sources. Was it a referral? Was it an open house? Was it somebody from your sphere, etc.? You also have the ability to create a custom lead source if it doesn't already exist. And you can type in whatever that lead source's name is and then click on create custom source. And that would then become a new source that you could create once you choose which category of lead source it should fall under. So if your lead source doesn't already exist, you do have the ability to create one. Um, we're going to skip assignee and lead routing options for right now, as well as collaborators as our more team based functionality. And right now we're just sticking for a really kind of a individual agent. Um, in addition, I can come down and put in tags. So what are tags? Tags are basically a way to further classify this contact. Um, who are they? How did they come into my world? So are they a part of my sphere? And I could type in sphere. And if that contact already exists in your world, then you could go ahead and choose it. Maybe they're a VIP and I don't have that tag created yet. So I want to create a custom tag for VIP. I can choose any one of these colors down below and then click on add. Now I have this custom tag added. I might even put in a tag for the neighborhood that they live in if I already know that. And that way it'll help me if I have any future properties in that neighborhood that I intend to market. I could do a filter by that specific neighborhood tag. So tags are a really important way to kind of classify your contact. As we scroll down, we get three different additional boxes that we can fill in or, or tabs, if you will, drop downs. So we've got additional information regarding their preferred method of contact, any additional emails or phone numbers, street addresses, super important, especially when we start getting into things like the monthly neighborhood nurture smart plan. Also, if you know that this is their mailing address, I would highly recommend as you're putting them in 2422 so I could put in and you can see we have a partnership with Google. So as you start to type in addresses, it's going to give you a series of suggested addresses in your area and you'll want to select the one that makes the most sense. Now, if this is both their street address and their mailing address, again, I would recommend checking that box. If you have any additional social profiles for them, whether it's Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, etc., you can put one or more of those. You can add additional social profiles just by clicking on the add profile box. And then you have the ability to click on about to enter their legal name, description, birthday, home anniversary, any additional relationships. At the very beginning, you had the ability to create an initial relationship. Whether that's the spouse, father, son, mother, you'll see there's an entire series of additional relationships. Just know that if you are creating one, you are creating a blank contact with just that name that you would have to go back later and add or edit to, um, adding in their phone number, email address, etc. In addition, we're going to have work down here below where you can see you can add in their company name or job title. 
And finally, you have the ability to create custom fields. Custom fields would be something that you want to track about this contact or a series of contacts that doesn't already exist inside of command. For example, if you did a pie day and you wanted to start tracking all of your VIP's favorite pie flavor choice, that way when you call them to say, hey, pie day is coming up, I know you love apple pie, we'll have one here for you, you could come in and add a custom field. That field could be favorite pie flavor. And I can create it just by clicking on custom field and deciding what kind of custom field that's going to be. And you can see there's an entire series of additional custom fields that you could create for your contacts. So if I want this to be a text field, I would click on done. And now the, pie, the favorite pie flavor custom field is there. And I could just type in apple to record that as this person's favorite pie flavor choice. Once I click on create, you will see that the contact is then created. If you wanna go back and find that contact, you can use the search button and you'll see in here, well, we've got a lot of test. Let's see, testy, there he is, Mr. Testerson. And I can click on that contact record and see all of the information that I just put in. We're gonna go through these contact cards here in the future, but that's the basics of adding one individual contact to your database using the add contact button. Tomorrow, we're gonna to talk about some additional ways that you can bring contacts in. But for now, that's it. Hope everyone's having a fantastic red day. Thursday, May 13th, 2021. Happy birthday, Mo. We love you and we're so glad that you are a massive part of our company. So hope you have a great day, guys. I will talk to you tomorrow.